Well, hello, hello. How are you today? Good. How are you? Very good. How are you? Good. Doing wonderful. Thank you. We're so happy to have you on with us because, well, of course, no no one else has got to see this yet, but but we now have seen it and know what we're getting into. And you got to be excited because this is this is really, really cool. And I imagine really, really fun to work on. It's kind of like what you imagine, you know, when you're a kid being on a set and getting all dressed up. And it's just probably everything like that, right? Ben? How are you? <laughs> yes, a hundred percent. Um, I watched Downton Abbey religiously when I was growing up. So this was literally a dream come true, being on a show like this and in locations like that and in costumes like that and hair and makeup and just being in that world um was incredible and very excited for everyone to see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then of course, you know, now you're seeing all the the posters and the trailers and, and it's all real, you know, and, and that's that's has got to be like a really a, a dream come true, but also, you know, so, something that that uh, that you probably wanted for, you know, your whole your whole time, your whole career, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great that the way these things start, you know, it's just like you get an email from your agent that you want to read for this. And then that that was in terms of this project that was what like 18 months ago now and now it's actually come to fruition and it's it's crazy to think how much has gone on between then and how much work and how many people have been involved and yeah it it's you know getting any job is always a miracle but like this one is the scale of it is just awesome and I think we're all really proud with what we've made yeah well and of course there's plenty of drama and intrigue that everybody you know, knows and loves and comes to expect her. Uh, they, ever, they think that, you know, maybe we don't change that much as people. It's like that the settings may change, but you seem to, you know, the, the, the problems seem to be recurring, right? Totally. <laughs> totally. I think that was what I connected to straight away. And like, even though it's a period drama and it is set whenever over a hundred years ago, the relationships and the, the issues that people have and their insecurities and the things that they value often don't really change. Like what it means to be human doesn't really change a whole lot. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think there's, there's a lot to connect to, even though it is set in 1871. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, I mean, I think that the Frederick Clara relationship, it, when, when I first read the script, it felt so modern. It's, it's two people trying to work it out. And we may not fall straight into marriage quite like they did back then. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just two people trying to work it out and trying to work through all of their baggage, um, but without any therapists, you know? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It could have been a much shorter show if they <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, of course, you know, people are looking up to you guys and, and thinking, that's what I want to do. Like that, that would be great. And, and but it's certainly not easy. And there's a whole lot of work and, you know, so many things that go into it. But what kind of advice would you give to someone that wants to follow in your footsteps and do what you do? Oh. Ben? <laughs> um, I think you just got to, you've, you've just got to keep doing it in, in what, whatever way it is, whether it's like, whether you're kind of doing plays at school or, you know, you can find a little job on set. And, and, you know, I think, I think a lot of people want to be actors and it's quite a brutal lifestyle, but actually there's a hell of a lot of stuff all around the acting on screen, off screen. That is, it's just such a cool world. And I think just get into it wherever you can. Um, and I'm just, I'm not really making any sense. You just got to be close to the thing you want to do, I think, by whatever means possible. And yeah, take over, please. No, <laughs> that's good what you said. I agree. I think just do it as much as you can um, and just work really hard and be a nice person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think there's so many routes to it. I think everyone, sorry. I think there's a lot of routes to, to getting into this kind of thing. And people get lost thinking, I have to do it this way or I have to do it that way. And you just have to find your own way, like everything in life. Mm. Well said. Well, yeah, part of that is that sort of mindset that you have to put yourself in because, you know, the hours are long. Of course, now you've got plenty of costumes and hair and makeup. You know, there's so many, you know, factors. But what is it that you each keep in mind when you're when you're on the set and the days are long that kind of that kind of get you through? 
think the fact that like when the job ends you don't know when the next one's gonna be (laughs) (laughs) because sometimes it's months and months before sometimes longer like years before anything else comes along and so I think just always being appreciative to be in work and doing the thing that we love to do um that's what gets me through anyway and coffee just lots of coffee (laughs) and food good catering (laughs) goes a long way have a few bit (laughs) yeah I think no I hope it's right I think I think uh sometimes the the pressure of it and the you know lack of sleep and the long hours and stuff can start you start getting a bit like oh why isn't you know why isn't my coffee arrived or whatever and you start getting a bit petty about it and you have to remember you know how much you want to do the job and remember how many other people are not working at that time and and stay quite humble about it Mm. Uh, like it's amazing that we get to do this for a living Um, but you sometimes forget that and you you have to make sure you've got good cast around you who will pick you up on uh, on your petty devious behavior um, (laughs) which fortunately Harriet did (laughs) I I think you're right I think sorry no go ahead no, I was just going to say, I think we both feel incredibly lucky to be in this position and to be doing jobs, a job like this. Like it is amazing. And it's the thing that we both have wanted to do for such a long time. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I love that. And so, of course, you're going to have great memories from the set. And so without spoiling anything, uh, is there something that particularly stands out to you is where you're just kind of looking around going, that this was a great day and that people are going to love this? um yeah there was one there was one day where uh we were shooting at hampton court palace and uh it was you know like summer's day they've closed it all up off for us we're riding horses um and kind of mincing around in the grounds of the palace just thinking this is not bad this is not bad yeah there were a lot of moments like that i mean the locations were insane so there were, there were a lot of days where i think we felt very very privileged and you know all the horses and carriages and um supporting artists and these just grand grand sets and sweeping vistas everywhere you just kind of yeah it's quite overwhelming i think Mm -hmm. and did you have one here but just something that stood out to you i i knew you were going to say hampton court palace because i thought of the same thing that's why i said it that was a moment (laughs) Especially because I visited Hampton Court Palace the year before with my family on my birthday. And so to be back there, like in these insane costumes, riding mechanical horses. <laughs> yeah. I didn't which... know if that was a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a spoiler? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, fake horses. <laughs> maybe oh, yeah. cut that out. <laughs> anyway, well, being well... at Hampton Court Palace, being in all the locations was incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well last thing then, of, of course, the you know, the the show is special. And, you know, again, without spoiling it, is uh, what is it for each of you that, that just, just means so much about this one that you think will really uh, connect with audiences? I think, um, sorry, were you going to go? I think yeah. it's, it's such a, the ensemble is so strong and there's so much, there's, you know, some very, very funny characters in it and there's some incredibly, you know, dull and serious people in it um and uh you know whatever you're into you're you're kind of catered for and it's so zippy and dynamic that the way all the plots interlink um so yeah I think I think there's something for everyone in it and it's um it's just so rich and so beautifully shot and there's a lot going for it I think yeah love it. how about for you here? yeah I think the same thing I think that the 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 experiences that we are, the characters are having in it, like, yes, they are specific to 1871, but at the same time, they are also just what it is like to be a human, that love and loss and grief and unrequited love and falling in love for the first time and all these things that like are just universal and no, it doesn't matter what time period you <laughs> are living in. Um, and also, like Ben said, it's just it's like stunning to look at. Everyone who worked on it was so good at their job. It just looks beautiful. There's always a costume that's like, wow, or the hair and makeup's incredible. The locations are stunning. The way it's shot is beautiful. The music is beautiful. Um, it's very aesthetically pleasing <laughs> as well as everything else. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, so. enjoy it. 
Yeah, I think everyone's going to enjoy it. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And thank you for giving us a great entertainment when we kind of need it the most. And, and I really appreciate your time today and look forward to talking to both of you again soon. Thank Thanks, you so Paul. much. Yeah, thank you.